district magnitude has been described as arguably the single most important number for election outcomes. So what is it? Let's start with the first part of the term, the district. An electoral district is a part of a country that's used to elect people. Different countries use different words to refer to districts. In the UK, we talk about constituencies, but in other countries, people talk about ridings, wards, circumscriptions or electorates. The magnitude of a district is the number of individuals elected from each district. We use the word magnitude rather than size because if we talk about district size, people might think we're talking about the area covered by the district. Let's take some examples. Here's a map of all of the electoral districts in Antigua and Barbuda. Antigua and Barbuda uses 17 constituencies to elect its House of Representatives. Each of these constituencies, often named after saints, elects a single member of Parliament. St Peter elects a single member, St Paul elects a single member, and St George elects a single member. The district magnitude is always one. In other countries, district magnitude is more interesting. This map shows the 52 circumscriptions used to elect the 350 members of the Spanish Congreso de los Diputados. These circumscriptions have different magnitudes. The largest, Madrid, elects 37 members of the Congreso. But differently, it has a district magnitude of 37. The neighbouring but much less populous province of Urvila has a district magnitude of 3, and the smallest district, Melilla, a district magnitude of just 1. Spanish districts show considerable variation in district magnitude. Our final example is the Netherlands. This map shows the single electoral district used in the Netherlands. All 150 members of the Dutch House of Representatives are elected in a single nationwide electoral district, and so the district magnitude is 150. Where, as in the Spanish case, we have many districts with different magnitudes, we need some way of summarising these numbers. How do we do that? Most researchers take the average or mean district magnitude. I'll use the letter M to refer to that. Average district magnitude is just the size of the assembly or legislature divided by the number of districts. Our three examples have very different average district magnitudes and that affects how their electoral systems work. District magnitude matters because the larger the district magnitude, the easier it is to divide seats proportionally. Imagine that you have five parties that win 40, 30, 20, 10 and 10% 10 of the vote. If you have a district with magnitude 1, then it's very hard to divide that single seat proportionally. The party that polls 40% gets the one seat available. It goes from 40% of the vote to 100% of the seats. If instead you have a district magnitude of 5, it's easier to divide proportionally. You might give two seats to the largest two parties, one seat to the third party, and zero seats to the remaining parties. And of course, if you have a district magnitude of 10, you can divide the seats exactly proportionally, so that no party has an unfair advantage. That's why it's sometimes more helpful to ask of an electoral system not, is it a system of proportional representation, but rather, what is the district magnitude?